Thanks for joining me on another episode of the Egg Dunleshy channel. While the squirrels are always thick in numbers, the chipmunks have overshadowed the tree rats on this channel at least of late. Well, that ends today as we refocus our attention with the old trusty nine and welcome some tree rats to Pound Town. And oh yeah, I also got a new toy to show you guys. This thing is so sick. But first, let's dive right in where we left off on the last 9 mil tracer video. This tree has just taken an absolute beating from 9 mil pass-throughs and me being a little slow on the trigger during those double tap attempts like this guy right here. While it's super important to have a safe backstop like a few oak trees that I use here, uh, it's incredibly loud when a 77 grain 9 mil pellet just domes a critter and then just drills the tree behind it. You can have the quietest air gun on the planet, but nothing will mask the noise of that pellet hitting the tree. There is a pretty simple solution though, and it's duck seal. So you can find this at your local hardware store, and I'll drop an Amazon link for it in the description as well. So I'm putting about a quarter inch thick layer directly on the tree, right in the impact zone. And when the pellet hits, it absorbs a most of, in some cases, all of the energy. It doesn't even hit the tree. And as a result, the subsequent noise. So I cover it with a little turf left over uh, when we installed it in our backyard to kind of help keep it in place as well as uh, this turf acts as a batter's eye of sorts, making it easier to pick up these tracers on film, just like this shot right here. All the shots today are with my 9mm egg gun Lashy 2 with the 450mm barrel and I'll be shooting the JSB Hades pellet and just absolutely devastating pellet. Uh, on top I have the incredible March 4.5 to 28 wide angle high master optic filming using the Eagle Vision GoPro camera mount. The goal of every shot is to flick that off switch, and within that context there's lights out and then there's this, a DSBL, a deep sleep before landing. Uh, and today's video is racked with quite a few of these. And for you guys screaming in the comments about body shots, don't worry, I've got a few of those for you in this video as well. The chipmunks typically explode upon impact with this round. The squirrels though, they have a more of a internal combustion reaction but all that energy's got to go somewhere and on this shot i think it's pretty clear pop goes the eyes another more subtle visual cue you'll see is this energy just roll down their bodies like a wave watch for that in some of the super slow mos in today's video watch it right here as i really slow this one down you can just see that energy just go from its dome right out the brown eye Oh man, with that large of an entry wound, you can only imagine what it's like on the inside. But this thing just locked up upon impact and hits the ground here and doesn't move an inch. That is a dirt nap. As I'm getting more time on the trigger with this new rig, the 9mm double taps are really starting to get dialed in. Ah, so close. That was more like a one and a half piece. One of the dome and then a little 77 grain haircut off the back. We're getting closer though. And later in this video, I hang up a lung on the backstop with a second shot. These double taps seem excessive in my backyard, but they can really come in handy out in the woods and practice makes perfect. And speaking of which, I've been filming some hunts up at the farm with my new favorite tool. Let me introduce you to my new fat tire e-bike, the Hemiway Cobra. So I have two of these now, uh, and they have become family favorites around the town, but with its powerful 750 watt motor and a really giant 48 volt Samsung lithium battery, it delivers just unmatched torque and an incredible 60 to 80 mile range on a single charge, and it tops off at 25 miles an hour. So I brought it up to my buddy's farm to do some planning, 
uh, and location scouting for its first hunt, where I will be using these bikes to cover 250 plus acres of huntable land, looking for squirrels for the freezer and a special mission from the landowner to target some problem beavers that he's got going on. And if we're lucky, we might even bump a coyote or two. So covering all the spots in a single day has just been impossible by foot. And the side-by-side -side that he uses is just too noisy. And with these e-bikes being incredibly quiet, they're going to play a huge role in what I hope is a successful day out at the farm. Either way, you're going to have a front row seat as I get out of my backyard and into the woods. Now, here's the best part. I got Hemiway to hook you guys up with $150 off of this exact bike, the Cobra model. So use my link www.hemiwaybike.com forward slash eggunleshy and the promo code EDG150 for $150 discount on this exact model. I've included uh, additional promo codes in the description. If you're interested in other models, they have promo codes for each model for you guys. So I cannot wait to get this thing out in the woods. Until then, let's get back to the action in this video. I put over 250 miles on that bike in about two weeks that I've had it, a bunch of which have come from me zipping in and around that farm. So I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming hunts as much as I've enjoyed filming them on these e-bikes. It's been fun though, getting out of my yard and into the woods. But don't worry, me traveling is not an indication that my backyard is running low on targets. Like that one the proud recipient of a Leshy 2 two-piece. This is that double tap that sent that lung flying. So when I went to retrieve it, I found the lung just sticking on the fence. I didn't actually see it in real time happen. So you can see it flying here as I really slow things down. On this angle, you'll really see it. A whole new gang moved in, uh, which is when you'll see two or three come down and play rock, paper, scissors on who gets the seat at the table for one first. So after these guys sorted that out, this is just another eye popper, which is nothing more than a visual cue that I hit the 10 ring right between the eyes. These head-on shots like this are pretty ideal. It's just a straight line from the forehead through the brown eye with just total destruction in between. Oof, that thing's just hanging there. Well, that's what 115 foot-pounds will do at 30 yards. It's hard to tell with the darker lighting on this shot and the black fur, but this one floated just a little high, but it didn't matter though, as the 9mm is just incredibly forgiving. Yeah, that thing was asleep before it landed for sure. This one takes quite a few boxes. It's dead center, double eye popper, and asleep before it hits the ground. I guess the only thing missing was a double tap to the chest. But either way, this is damn near perfect. For me, at least. Man, that thing just canoed its dome. Oh. I'm going to really slow it down here so that you can just see the amount of energy dumping into this guy. Yep, that's a DSBL for sure. If you enjoyed that clip, you should click this video to watch the full story.